Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome to World of Warcraft Dragonflight, and the beginning of our Lightforge Draenei Death Knight playthrough. Thank you guys very much for joining me today, for clicking on the video and choosing to spend some of your time here with me. I do appreciate it, and I hope you are all doing well. We are going to get going here. Similar to the Void Elf playthrough, if you saw that, this is just going to be a chill leveling campaign focusing on just immersion and having a nice relaxing time leveling up this character in the World of Warcraft. We're going to be sticking to a lot of old world zones that I haven't seen before since the Cataclysm. And with the lighting fixes and changes made to those old world zones, it's probably going to be really, really interesting, so I'm looking forward to it. Uh, for talents, we are going to be going with an unholy spec. Uh, let's take a look here. We can get Cleaving Strike. Scourge Strike hits up to seven additional enemies while you remain within Death and Decay. Or we could take Death Strike. Hmm. Do I want another button to press right away? I have a Rune Strike. Death Coil. A Rune Forging does not belong there. We'll do some work here on our action bars in a second. And Light Judgment. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab that. All right, let's get a couple of action bars going. Should be good. There is much to be done. You are empty inside, just like. and that we must bolster our ranks to face it. There's little time for ceremony. Take up your blade and prove your mettle. Conquer the darkness. Become its master. I went with an allied race here for the Death Knight so that we didn't have to do the really old Death Knight area from the Wrath of the Lich King era. So, yeah, we got mounts. Now we get our mount automatically. We don't have to go to the trainers anymore for this. So let's go ahead and pull him out. And we'll get going here. Yeah, we're going to go right to Chromie. We're going to do Cataclysm Time Walking. And then we're going to find some old world zones to level up in. I'm kind of wondering if as an allied race, if we're going to have any flight points right off the bat. We can uh, definitely find out. Need help? He wants us to go right into Battle for Azeroth stuff, which we are not going to do. Who would have 
thought someone named Deathwing would bring about so much destruction. Let's check out the hero board here for giggles. Uh, the wetlands would actually not be bad. Help the survey team. Duskwood, we could do that. We could do that to get some early levels. But I, I've been to these places pretty recently. Maybe if I, if I take them, do you think it would refresh the board? It does refresh the board. Ashenvale. Take the port. Let, let's let's check out Ashenvale. That could be cool. We'll we'll abandon some of these others. I, I'm interested in seeing zones that I haven't seen s since the Cataclysm. I don't remember anything about Ashenvale. Post Cata. So maybe we could start there. That would be cool because that would get us into into Kalimdor. I'd like to see places like Desolus and things like that. Alright. Where is this one turning in? Uh, un uncertain. Uncertain. There we go. So, we'll head over to the docks, it looks like. Alright, let's see what kind of run is going to be involved. Are we going to have to run from Darkshore, probably? Yes, it looks like we are going to be making the run. Now, that being said, I don't think I've been here um, since, like, the burning of Teldrassil. So, I actually am not sure what we're doing. Let's talk to the flight person. Maybe maybe they know. I am on. Uh okay. Yeah, I can, I can live with I can live with the fact that we have every single flight point. Yeah. Absolutely. Family. Yeah, I, I don't think that like if you were like a level 1 human or something like that, I don't think that you would have the flight point. Look how far we can see. Oh man. Yeah, I don't think you'd have the flight. We're we're a death knight. And when Death Knights ended their original starting experiences, they were like level 58. So Death Knights got like, I think you got every flight point in the old world just kind of given to you. So it, it seems like the same thing here on the, on the Lightforge Drain Eye. And yes, Lightforge Drain Eye, what an interesting choice for a Death Knight. Uh, I wanted to be an allied race and I didn't want to be Kul Tiran, And I didn't want to be Mecha Gnome and I didn't want another Void Elf. So yeah, I ended on uh, Lightforge Draenei, Death Knight, which is a contradiction that I find pretty interesting. 
I am new to the class. I haven't really ever played much of a Death Knight at all. <clears throat> so I have no idea what I'm doing. You, your tips, those of you who are a bit more familiar, your tips would be helpful. I, I don't mind backseat gaming. Absolutely, by all means. And yeah. Oh, I don't think I've been in Darkshore since the Cataclysm either. Huh. Wow. I I'm kind of tempted to... to do Darkshore. I don't know. Maybe maybe we'll save Darkshore for like our Night Elf Balance Druid, which we're, which is going to be the playthrough after this one. Maybe we'll save Darkshore for that. We can head down into Ashenvale and do some stuff in Ashenvale. I, I think eventually maybe I want to go into like Stone Talon Mountains, Desolus, places like that that I just I know I haven't seen much of. Fairless would be a good one. Feathermoon is no longer out on the island. That would be cool to see. It's really curious, like, having the choice to fly basically anywhere. Fort Triumph. There's somewhere in the Southern Barrens that the Alliance has a, uh, a flight point. That's really interesting. Ungoro. Uh, yeah. L let's continue on with what we're doing and we'll kind of think about it. I, I think we'll definitely save, we'll save Darkshore for the Night Elf and, uh, and we'll see. Oh, that looks really cool. That's like an old one or something. With a dagger in its skull. Huh. Rem Travels Excavation? I haven't seen that in vanilla yet. I've never been here in vanilla. I should probably check that out before I do Darkshore. So I know the differences. Alright, what do we have going on here? Good luck, friend. There's evil lurking on the coast to the west. Oh, I don't have my keybind set up for this. Goddess, watch over you. Okay, let's let's disable that for now. Uh, how would I disable that? Here we go. I am on. Be careful. There is evil lurking on the coast to the west. The Zoram Strand is the resting place of the doomed city of Zoram, destroyed during the Sundering and submerged beneath the seas. It has been lost to the Night Elves for ages, lost and nearly forgotten. Now the Naga have returned, and for what reason we don't know. But reason matters little when we, we must slay these fiends and throw them back to the depths. Fifteen of them. Watch over you. And then this is actually a BFD quest, which I don't know Farewell. if we'll do dungeons or not. Collect 10 ancient statuettes. I was on my boat skimming over the submerged ruins of Zoram when Naga attacked me, surging from the water and tearing at me with their claws. I fled, and, and the rest, as they say, is history. I am an archaeologist of sorts, and I am attempting to recover artifacts of the lost city. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I'm loving the music here. It's different than the vanilla soundtrack, but very good.
we, we are quite strong. Uh, I bet that's because of our gear. And I bet also it won't stay that way. Uh, let's see, we need to turn auto loot on after all of these years. Auto loot still not enabled by default. There we go. I, you know, I, I wasn't really paying a lot of attention, but I do realize that we just have a ghoul out by default. Yeah, we, we just got a ghoul pet. I'm not usually a pet class kind of guy, but the fact that he's a, like, a, we're melee and he's a pet and he's melee is kind of nice. He doesn't have a taunt, does he? I want the enemies facing me, because I, I don't want him to be tanking the enemies. I want to see the enemies. I want to be able to check out like the enemy models and stuff. It's part of the joy for me of playing a, uh, a DPS class. Uh, we're not, we're not proccing any, uh, death, but we're not building enough runic power, basically. Because stuff's dying so fast. That's okay for now. I think feeling this powerful at the start is definitely a Death Knight thing. Yeah, it, it's because we have all, it's like starting off in all heirlooms, basically. Which I don't have. I don't have heirlooms, so we'll probably we'll probably see the difficulty go up over time. We're also looking for statuettes. And to be honest, I, I haven't seen any yet. We got a bag. Uh, that being said, we, we have a 12 slot bags, so we, we actually don't need the small blue pouch. Oh, it looks like a lot of the statuettes are in the water. <laughs> Lord, uh, we got too close to the horde building. Yeah, I just was just in the zone, you know what I mean? And uh, it turns out 
we were just a little bit too close. The Horde building is kind of right in our little questing area. Um, it's it's interesting. Yeah, <laughs> they they're at war here for Ashen Vale at this point. So, yeah, we we got what we deserved there. I just realized the personal resource display is on. I don't think I need that. Um, interface. Enemy nameplates. Of course, it's just not somewhere that I remember. Um, hmm. What's it called? Personal resource or... Yeah, I, I don't want to see it below me though. How do you, how do you see it above the above the mob? Ugh, I, I hate the new menus. I, I want to get rid of this. Yeah, I, I want to see that stuff above the enemy, not on my own guy. I don't need it. He I don't need it here and here. When they first introduced this, the default UI was up in the corner for your health bars and stuff. We we don't need both down here. You know what I mean? Um, let's see if I can find that. It's going to annoy the crap out of me. Uh, action bar 2 can go off for now. Yeah, you'd think it would be an interface. Action bars, combat, personal resource display. I thought on the target. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Perfect. That should be good. Alright, now we're just looking for artifacts. If we can avoid getting ganked by any more mobs, that'd be good. Oh, we still have our health down here. <laughs> It got rid of the resource display, it didn't get rid of the health. I bet it won't show it there now. I always have trouble getting rid of this, it was a pain in the butt on the last character too. Hide health and power bars, okay, cool, cool, cool. We figured it out. Hardest part of the game is done. We beat the menu boss, so we're good. Yeah, I, I try to have my screen look a certain way for like immersion, you know. Having the floating bar here, having all the enemy floating health out, out in the world is kind of like immersion breaking to me. So I do try to like make it a little bit more immersive. Now we are done here. We could probably mount up and make our way back. What brings you here? Good luck, friend. Well, maybe we could follow up and see what this is about. I, I don't know if it's going to be a, a lead into a dungeon quest or what. Greetings. Be careful. May the stars guide you. I fear the ancient statuette's secret will remain forever hidden unless you find the key to their ancient locks. That key is a ring, the Ring of Zoram. It belonged to one of the rulers of the city before the waves of the Sundering drowned it. For years the ring was lost, but the Naga have recently found it. Their leader, Ruzel, dwells on her isle on the northern edge of Zoram Stand. Okay. Goddess, watch over you. I don't know if I'll read all the quests, but I might I might read some of like the main ones about like the lore and the stuff going on in the zones. Especially with these being zones that I have not been in since the Cataclysm. So we, we might read some of them. We probably won't read all of them. Uh, but the thing about it is, whenever they do Cataclysm Classic, and we know they're going to, 
then we'll be doing full read-throughs. Uh, but for now, we'll just kind of cherry pick them. I, I like to read some just to add a, a little bit of flavor to like the task that we're doing, you know. Um, I noticed that our ghoul buddy, our ghoul buddy's gone. Uh, okay, and now that's a cooldown. That's a cooldown. <laughs> I, I thought we had a permanent buddy. Um, where's our permanent buddy? I, I don't see it here. Is that a little bit strange to anybody else? You'd think it would be here. But it's not. <laughs> um, very strange. I'm sure I'm just missing something, right? I'm, I'm sure I must just be missing something. Like, just absolutely missing it. I'm positive of it, because I, I know that a minute ago we had a, a little a ghoul out with us all the time. He had an action bar and everything, and then he went away. And uh, I'm not sure when he went away, or why he went away, or anything. But I, I am, I am, color me, color me severely confused now. If anybody could explain what's going on with that pet in the comments, I would love to know. Not that we need it, you know, to deal like decent damage, but... Oh, here he is. No, this is the cooldown. <laughs> huh. So, so strange. Okay. Let's move on, shall we? If I'm being entirely honest, I'd rather not have a pet. But I do want to play on holy spec. So if the pet is an irrevocable part of that, then I'm going to be fine with it. I'll figure it out. But if there was a way to spec so that, like, I know for, like, like hunters, marksman hunters, you can do lone wolf and that gets rid of the pet and it boosts your character damage. If there were a thing like that we could do with the unholy death knight and, like, get the pet out of the equation, I'd probably do that. The pet's not bad. It's kind of neat. But I've never been much of a pet class guy, and I didn't really think about that, that the Unholy DK is kind of a pet class. Ish, I guess. How may I help? Till next we meet. Alright, so this guy, this guy's done with us. The scale is done with us. Let's go over here. I, I guess maybe we weren't even supposed to necessarily do anything here yet. Our quest actually took us this way. The one that we got from the command board. So we're maybe here just a little bit early. Let's sell the stuff we don't need. We don't need anything. While we're leveling up, we don't, we don't need anything, you know?
All right, there we go. We, we dinged level 11 by exploring. Perfect. Uh, okay, now over in the actual unholy tree, we have one option. Festering Strike. Replaces Rune Strike right away. Okay, costs two runes, strikes for 78 physical damage, and infects the target with two to three Festering Wounds. A Festering Wound is a postulant lesion that will burst on death or when damaged by Scourge Strike, dealing 18 shadow damage and generating more runic power. Okay, I'm going to be reading all these talents and doing my best to actually learn the class. So I hope you guys are down for that. Alright, so boom, there we go. And so this, this references Scourge Strike. They burst on death or when damaged by Scourge Strike. Which we don't have yet. But there we go. How may I help? Del Nadris. Kill any ten horde at Bathrin's haunt. Okay, some some PvE PvP. Evanar and the other apprentices may not be much use in battle, but you look like you can be you can more than hold your own. The horde scum across the road God to the east. Oh, head. you are so rude. <laughs> Across the road to the east, that bathroom's haunt need to be taught a lesson. Farewell. Okay. Hello. And then we need to collect eight bathroom's hair from probably the same area because there's a sick child in Astronar and we believe that her illness is more than just physical. Okay. We will check that out. We have a third quest over this way. Uh, from an ancient. These creatures, these so-called horde, they have cut me down in my prime and they are harvesting my hair for their evil plans. Will you help me put an end to it? Obtain a bottle of wildfire and throw it at Bathroom's corpse to burn it. Oh, you're a spirit. Okay. Sure. Oh, this is us, I think, right? Oh no, this wasn't. This was them. They dropped this. I thought maybe this dropped off of Festering Strikes, but no, they dropped some poison on us. What happened to the mount she was riding? We don't we don't have to fight the mounts. <laughs> That's a little bit weird. Oh, that was a cool uh, death strike animation. I like that. Uh, guys, guys, he's ba he's back. <laughs> I I didn't even notice, but he's back. Does he just kind of spawn himself, dependent on whether or not there's a corpse around? Maybe that. Yeah, I I'm fine with him hanging out as long as we don't have to do much to like directly manage him. It would be cool if you can get different skins for this guy. Kind of like with the new warlock pets uh, that you can transmog them into. 
Um, we, we need to burn the corpse, but I don't think we have the item. Do we? I've overheard herbalists speaking of something called wildfire upon their table across the way. So we were supposed to find a table across the way. Oh Jesus, that could be anywhere at this point. I guess I should have read the whole quest. Usually usually it marks the objectives for you like one at a time. Um, this time it, it didn't. So that's a little bit odd. Here's the table. Yeah, the table's over here. We're going to have a bunch of guys. We're going to put the character to the, a little bit of a test here. And, uh, and see what we can do. Let's pop the cooldown as well. And we have Heart Strike, I think, gives back a little bit of... A uh, little bit of HP if we need that. Or maybe it doesn't do that anymore. <laughs> the last time I played anything on a DK, this healed. Focuses dark power into a strike that deals 31 physical damage and heals. It didn't seem like he was healing for much, but yeah, it still heals. Another bag. Blizzard, are you trolling me? You don't ever get this many bags to drop in Classic Era when you actually need them. getting our breadcrumb out of here and we're heading down to Maestra's post Okay, we, we got some serious problems here at Maestro's Post. Uh, let's see. I certainly hope you're the type to help, Death Knight. The situation is, a dire, as, is as dire as it appears. To put it quite simply, we are losing. My girls and I are the last line of defense against the Horde, but we're not going to get out of this one without taking the fight to them. Okay, use a squad of Maestro's Post Sentinels to destroy three Ashenville Wreckers and slay ten Horde invaders? I don't know. I just, I just get some ladies to hang out with. Uh, I'm sure they're going to be doing most of the work here. Good luck, and then bathe in light. The concoction is not quite complete. This guy is trying to heal the little girl or something while like all around us the battle's waging. Find Tyrannus. A friend of mine from Astronar, Rian Wolfrunner, asked me to send a scout west to Lake Faltham. Tyrannus left days ago just before the horde attacked. He was searching for an item he thought could slow the furbog attack on our people. A rod created by a now dead evil wizard. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Like so many different plot threads. Uh, the furbog have descended from the heights and overrun the ruins of Ordil Aran to the north. I believe they did so because they were attracted to what the dead cultists there uncovered. Three moonstones. Deactivate the blue, green, and red moonstones. May the stars guide you. So like they got furbogs attacking and they got horde? It seems bad. And why was Cataclysm a better battle for Azeroth than battle for Azeroth was? Do you guys ever notice that? Goddess, bless you. 
Uh, slay 10 for... So, gosh, there's just, like, north and south. They got Horde to the south, Furbrog to the north. It's it's bad here right now. I hope once we, like, take care of stuff, like, a little phase will happen, we can clean this area up a bit. I'm gonna deal with the Horde first. They've got, like, Ballistae catapults. Maybe having a little bit of food on us won't be a bad idea after all. I didn't really know if we were going to need food or not, but it does seem like we might want to have a way to restore some HP because obviously our passive regen is not going to do it. Be Retrieve Firo's Holy Hammer and the Purifier's Prayer Book. There were two humans here, Firo Iron Hand and Delgrin the Purifier. They were members of a holy organization known as the Argent Dawn. Both fell defending the posts when the Horde first attacked. Good luck. Oh boy. So those guys are dead. I remember the people that she's talking about. Yep. Oh gosh, we're going into the fray for this one. I don't think we're going to live this whole thing out, you know? I think we're probably going to have to res and come back at least once. So we're just not going to generate enough runic power to, uh, to heal ourselves adequately. <laughs> As powerful as we actually are, I don't know if it's going to be enough. But we're keeping ourselves alive, which is surprising. Yeah, here's, here's where we bite it. <laughs> this is how it happens. Yeah, right here. See how many we can take with us. <laughs> Alright, we'll, we'll have to get some food at some point. Yeah, we'll absolutely have to buy some food. I don't know if we'll have to take first aid. I don't think it's quite that dire, but... Uh, we will keep a couple of stacks of food on us. I if we can find food, that actually will help heal us. Sometimes what happens is like you you get to a point where like okay We could buy the food that was sold here, but the food that was sold here isn't good as we progress in levels So yeah, we'll, we'll have to see what we can do
the music ended just in time. Hello. Goddess, watch over me. Alright, for our talent points over here, we have Chains of Ice, Shackles the Target within Frozen Chains. And Mind Freeze is the interrupt. We, we want to take this because we're going to have to get down here. Uh, do we want Anti-Magic Shell? Yes, but probably not right now. Cleaving Strike, Scourge Strike. We don't have Scourge Strike yet. They keep talking about Scourge Strike, but we don't have it. Let's go here for now. And on the northern front, we have Thistle Fur Furbolgs. Right, and that clears this little area as well. We are blowing through the little tiny quest hubs. Uh, which means now we're looking for Taronis. And then we have Bathed in Lights. Track that too. First dismount of the playthrough. Taronis is dead. His body lies broken atop a small rise next to the keeper. Deep slashes crisscross his corpse. As you rummage through his belongings, you find a water-damaged journal. Quickly flipping through to the last legible pages, you read that Taronis makes mention of finding the gem, but then of having lost it in the Falathim area. The only thing remaining to do is to find it. What about this guy? When I sensed these things rising from below, I came to put them back down. I found the corpse of your friend and dragged him as far as I could before one of my fetlocks was broken. It is all I can do to hold out these foul tendrils. There is one that controls the tendrils and eyes. It calls itself Harbinger Ephotic. I am sure that you have heard it yelling from the south. The Harbinger stands out of my range. But you could get to him if you dare. Good luck. Oh, we dare.
Well, finding that was pretty easy. My vigil is eternal. Ah, uh, yeah, see the gear we're getting for this area is item level 16 and the gear we start is item level 19. We're, we're out level for the area for sure by a lot. The overpoweredness we're feeling will probably only last through this zone by the time we uh, level up into the next content. Uh, we're ready to move on to the next zone rather. We probably won't be feeling this strong anymore. Apparently he's got nothing else he needs us to do, so we're going back to the hub. And then I wonder what's next. I would ask you to deliver the gem directly to Rain Wolfrunner. Last I heard, she was still in Astronar to the southeast. May the stars okay. Chains of Ice was unlocked. Even though we already had Chains of Ice, I'm glad the game is telling us that we unlocked it. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, we have a quest out here that popped up. Sentinel Ivana. What brings you here? You've been a great assistance to us, Rambles. Without you, we would have been wiped out by now. It would be my pleasure to offer you one of my night sabers anytime you need to ride to Astronar. Okay. Uh, I don't know if we're doing that now. Let's see. We, we have these other quests that I kind of want to check out. I, I wonder if this stuff will lead us to it, you know? I, I don't need her to help us travel anyway. Well, let's go. Let's go up the road here and see what's going on. I should probably just follow the questing. The questing would probably lead us here, but... Oh, am I going to be able to get up the terrain here? I don't think so. Maybe. Oh, here we go. It's kind of a road. It's kind of a road that might lead us through. Uh, unspent talent point we'll look at in a minute here once we're safe. Uh, yeah, see, this, uh, this quest is somewhere. It's somewhere on a back trail. The terrain itself is, is kind of funneling us towards Astronar, isn't it? It, it really is. Let, let's head to Astronar and we'll see what we get there. Yeah, see we got funneled right down by the terrain. That's okay. I'm sure they're, they're going to send us right back out to fight these guys and to work our way into the back of their camp. So we'll probably find the quest then. Uh, as far as the talent, they're not going to let us look at it till we're out of combat. What brings you here? Be careful. Oh, we have a fellow Draenei here. Good fortune. Speak with Architect Nemos at Forest Song in Ashenvale. I can offer you a ride. There's a lot of breadcrumbs. They they want to give us a ride on their tiny little baby elephant. Remember, the but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take I'm not gonna take your free ride. We have our own ride. How may I help? Quickly take this bucket of water and put out the fires. Farewell. Oh God, the place is on fire. <laughs> Wait, when did this happen? 
Oh my gosh. What am I supposed to do about the fire up there? Was the place always on fire? I didn't see the fires when we came in. Maybe I'm just not very observant. Um, hello, fire? I, I don't I don't think the fire's going out, guys. That didn't, didn't seem to help anything. It didn't see some of the questing here is a little bit weird. Uh, let's try this. Yay, we got one. Okay, we're having better luck. Okay. I'm glad everyone is all chill, like business as usual, except that it turns out the entire place is on fire. It is a little bit weird. You'd think more people would have a vested interest in picking up some water and trying to help out, right? The music is also really chill for the entire town burning to the ground. I'm assuming this was like a horde attack. We are just having some problems with some of these though. Yeah, the placing is like very strange. It has to be right here, I think. Yeah. All right, we got the most important thing done. We've put out the fires. Let's have a look at the talents here. Uh, yeah, we need Scourge Strike. The mechanics are built off it. Uh, Raise Dead, I swear to God, we already have this. It, it's so weird that the talent tree is, is like, okay, is it that it's taking it down to 30 seconds? Repl okay, replace Raise Dead. I guess it makes it a shorter cooldown, I, I guess. I, I don't know. Like, yeah, something's up with it. Let, let's go here. It makes it a shorter cooldown. That's fine. Uh, let's do this. So Scourge Strike, an unholy strike that deals 40 physical damage and 26 shadow damage and causes one festering wound to burst. So we Festering Strike, then we Scourge Strike. Okay. That's the basics of the basics, and we'll probably build off it from there. I'm really excited to learn the class. I I, I love the animations. I, I think it's going to be really, really fun. And it's a class I'm not at all familiar with in any version of the game. Tananus is dead. The lady weeps softly for the loss of her friend and then composes herself after a moment. We must see to it that this... that his sacrifice was not in vain. It's so hard for me to read the in-game quest boxes. I, I much prefer the immersion add-on. I need to get, get that updated and get that working and get the uh, keybind set up. Good luck, friends. Directly to the north of Astronar are the Thistlefur Furbolgs. My scouts report that their numbers have grown greatly over the past few months. If they grow too great, they may find the courage to attack Astronar directly. So we're gonna go kill 15 of them. Uh, let's, let's think about setting the Hearthstone here, shall we? Could be a good idea. We could take a look at food, but we have we we have 590 already. The highest level we can buy only does 375. But I'll buy some just in case. The fires are mostly contained, but we have to do something about those wa those wind riders. 
Jump on one of our glaive throwers and return fire. Uh, okay. I mean, will it will it stop the? Will it put? I want I want there to be a phase where there's no fire, and I want there to be a phase where there's no guys hovering above the town. Because if they stay here after I do all this, it's gonna break my immersion here. So I'm really hoping that in Cataclysm they had enough tech that they could. Uh, oh God, that guy is so far away. Like I don't know what I'm aiming at. I hope they had enough tech to phase this place properly so that we don't have to stare at the fire the whole time and like just accept the place is burning down around us. That would suck. I want the guys in the sky to go away too after I've killed them all. Uh, that being said, do I have the best angle to be fighting them? Probably not. I, I might have to like re relocate myself. Yeah, I, I kind of have a, a a crappy viewpoint here. Let's come over this way. And maybe we'll have a better view of more of them. Yeah, um, man, I'd really wish that we could just pick one and we can get all the ones we need from the one ballast day. Like, having to go through several of them, I'm not, I'm not too keen on that. I'm not a big vehicle quest person to begin with. Uh, for this reason that you're seeing right here is that I'm bad at it. I've never really liked pressing any buttons besides my class buttons in the game. I guess if we stay in one for long enough, maybe there would be like respawns flying around, potentially. We need one more. Oh, Robert. <laughs> you can roll them. <laughs> I thought they were stationary. Oh, no. You can roll them around. Oh, I didn't need that added. Uh, let's just find one more. Try to be done with this one. All right, perfect, perfect. Okay, so we could roll them around. We didn't. We didn't. We could have just used one. We we just would have had to move that one around a little bit. We didn't have to jump from one to one like I thought. That's my bad. Hello. All right. Hey, they did it! Yay, Cataclysm! Oh, they put in phases so that I, I don't have to see the fires. I hope the smoke goes away too, but it probably won't. But at least we don't have the flyers above us. Okay, that's cool. I, I appreciate that. Alright. Guys, I tell you what. I'm going to take a break here for today. I'm really excited to get into this journey. Uh, I'm really excited to learn the Death Knight with you guys. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun on the Warlock. Learning the class, reading the talents, and kind of figuring things out as I went. And now it's time to do the same thing on a melee class. So I'm very excited. Thank you guys so much for being here with me. If you are digging the content, leaving a like on the video and subbing to the channel help me out immensely. And I very much appreciate those that do. Until next time, guys, take care of yourselves out in the real world and take care of each other. And we'll see you back here again very soon. Bye for now.